The tranquil and pristine forest below has something magical about it. Apart from its trees, streams, waterfalls, these forests have birds. Lots of them. Variety of them. Singers, whistlers, chammers, hoppers, and night runners. This is the Tekad, a village in Kerala, home to 15 odd Western Ghats endemics and other 280 plus avian wonders. In this video, we will discuss how to reach there, the birds and wildlife seen in this sanctuary, how to explore these forests for birds and wildlife, accommodation options, and experienced birding guides of Thatekad. The nearest airport is in Kochi, in central Kerala. You can take a taxi on arrival, and your journey will take less than an hour. We have given a link to a blog, How to Explore Thatekad, in the description for more details. Welcome to Pali Planet. My name is Sabu. Today I am at the Thatakad Bird Sanctuary. This sanctuary is also known as Dr. Salim Ali Bird Sanctuary. Dr. Ali is considered the father of modern ornithology in India. I will be spending the next two days here. Let me see what we can get for you. Let's begin. It is impossible to track down birds without trained eyes. If you don't have one, you can always hire one. Today, we are with Danish Trogon, a highly experienced birding guide in the region. He knows this sanctuary like the back of his hand. Sabu has been visiting this sanctuary since 2014. He tells us that now he knows why Dr. Salim Ali thought the Tekad is the most important bird area in peninsular India. Danish knows a fruiting tree up there. He is expecting Malabar barbets on it. Let's try. Sabu, what is that call? Oh, it is a brain fever bird. Thatakad is a small place, just about 25 square kilometers in size. However, the bird diversity seen here is unbelievable. You should come and explore for yourself to believe it. Danish is leading us to the top of a rock here. The sanctuary has different types of habitats. Probably it should be one of the reasons you see such a diversity of birds here. Do you agree, Danish? Yes, he does. There are three important birding locations here you must visit. Orolanthani is the main one. This place is ideal for Malabar trogon, Malabar parakeet, Malabar hornbill, Malabar barbet, Sri Lankan frogmouth, etc. Finally, the barbet arrived. He looks hungry and in a hurry. There are about 80 species of barbets in the world, and he is a local lad. Another important forest is Chikad. It is on the other side of the river that you see in the opening scene of this film. This forest is home to winter visitors such as Indian Pita and Black Beza. The third area is Charupara, which is also close by. Hey Sabu, what is it? It is a golden jackal. Though the sanctuary is renowned for its bird life, you may also see some mammals here occasionally. This sambar deer is one of them. 
Look at this. Fresh, elephant dung. But Danish's expressions were reassuring. No worries. In fact, he was busy scanning the treetops here for Malabar Trogon. No signs of them. Seeing Orioles and Asian Paradise flycatchers is always a treat to our eyes. Very pretty birds. Yes, looks like Danish has something to show us. We better rush. Wow, here it is. Malabar Trogon, the flagship bird of this sanctuary. Look at it, what a beautiful bird. These forests have a sly resident who prefers nightlife. Slender Loris, a small primate. The forests and its residents here are very poised, like this giant Malabar squirrel, one of the largest squirrels in the world. The Tekad and nearby villages are known for their butterfly diversities too. Jolly good fellows. The nocturnal team takes over as the sun goes down. The forest has changed. Dinesh told us that we can see up to 10 species of owls in this forest zone. That is a very impressive number. There are many accommodation options available here for birders. It includes luxurious forest lodges and clean and practical homestays. We stayed at the Bird Murmur Camp, a forest lodge promoted by birders. We enjoyed our stay here. One advantage here is you can do night birding around the lodge property at night. Sabu will be spending most of his time at this bird hide today, trying to film birds coming down for bathing and drinking water. I am hoping to see an Indian pita, a bird seen here regularly for many years. You can see around 20 species in these hides during the winter months. A parade of beautiful lives. These are jungle babblers. They are the crowd pullers. Asian fairy bluebird, one of my favorite species here. Look at the colors. Who can beat it? Wow, Pita. I think he is the same Pita I photographed last year. Oops.
This is a black-throated Munya, a rare visitor. This is Malabar Woodshrike, a Western Ghats endemic. This restless fellow is a leaf bird, always in a hurry. You can see four species of kingfishers here. This is the most common one. While waiting for the sun to set and Tatekad's most precious resident to arrive, Sabu chatted with Danish Trogon about the reason for adopting a bird's name as his surname. Uh, Trogon, uh, especially Malabar Trogon, which is uh, endemic to southern part of India and uh, Sri Lanka. And I love that bird actually, which is very colorful animal. Uh, interesting bird. Yeah. Okay, that's the interesting name. His team, his passions. His subject knowledge is very impressive. As dusk arrived, Sanu, Danish's partner, was keeping his eyes on a branch of a tall tree. He was sure about the ghost's arrival. The ghost arrived on time. We had a wonderful trip to Tatakad. It's your turn now. Your moment is waiting. <laughs>